Welcome to the teacher video on utilizing seating charts. Seating charts can be utilized by any teacher for any section. In addition, teachers can print multiple seating charts for each section. If a seating chart is used for attendance and there are multiple courses scheduled during a particular period, all students in both sections must be placed into the same seating chart or it will not be selectable from the attendance screen. For high school teachers that have the same students consecutively for a first semester and second semester class, Please note that the second semester class is a different course number and a separate seating chart will need to be created for that second semester class. However, the teacher can copy the layout from one section to another to simplify that process. Let's get started. It is important to know that if you have Enable Classroom Navigation on, you have to first move to the section in which you're going to create the seating chart. In this example, if we click on eighth grade math, it shows us both sections. We will select 8th grade math, and then we will navigate to seating charts. Seating charts is under instruction. However, users can also click on the search panel and use the tool search to locate seating charts. For example, if I type seating and hit search, the seating charts display. Once selecting the seating charts, I see that no seating charts have been created for this calendar. When we click new, it only shows us seating chart options for the particular period that we have selected. If we change to another period and click New, the seating chart options change. We will navigate back to the Teaching Center. In the Teaching Center, if we turn off Enable Classroom Navigation and navigate back to Seating Charts, which will now be in our recent tools since we recently navigated to it, we will see that when we click New, all of our sections display. So if you want to create seating charts for multiple sections at once, you can do so with Enable Classroom Navigation turned off. It is important to note also if multiple classes are taught during the same period and you want to use the seating chart for taking attendance, both sections must be included when creating that seating chart. For example, as we see here, eighth grade math is scheduled during the same period as advisor advisee. So in order to take attendance for section 11 eighth grade math, we must include both eighth grade math and advisor advisee in the same section. Otherwise, we can always switch back to the regular attendance mode. But if wanting to use seating charts for attendance, we have to include both sections. If your intention is not to use seating charts for attendance, then you can select the individual section alone. We will name this seating chart period three, eighth grade math and ADV. Scrolling a little further down, we will see that we have the option for setting the columns and rows. If there is not enough seats in the columns and rows, you will see a line of red text that says there are more students than desks. So in this case, we will expand the rows to six so there are enough rows and columns for our seating chart. Next, we will identify the horizontal and vertical space between the desks. We can always update or modify our seating chart once it's generated, but in this case, we will say we want a half desk horizontally and a half desk vertically. Next, our options are how we want to place the students. You can choose A through Z, C through A, random, or do not place and manually place your students. Do not place may be helpful when you have a different kind of classroom setup that is not your typical rows and columns. In this example, we will select random and then click create chart. All students in the class are now placed into the seating chart. We can go ahead and take the students that are in the advisor advisee and separate them. In this example, we will take these two kiddos and remove them from the seating chart. You can always delete seats as necessary or even move them around. For example, maybe our seating chart is more of a four on four type situation. As you can see, there is flexibility with moving the kiddos around. So I'll move this down and I'm going to delete that seat and move some kids around. We won't adjust everything at this time, but again, we can always add the kiddos back. Maybe the first particular row has more seats. Once you get your seating chart saved, what we're going to do in this situation is move to the very end and place 
our kiddos that are in the advisor advisee at the bottom so that we can still take attendance as necessary. The next step is to click Save. When you have a seating chart, there are plenty of adjustments that may need to be made. I'm gonna move this kiddo down a little bit as an example and click Contract Workspace. Contract Workspace allows you to move the workspace in so that there's not a lot of extra white space. If you need more space, you can click Expand Workspace. If you want to remove the students, and I'm gonna hit Clear Students. Clear Students removes everybody from the seats. And then you can come back to Place Students if you need to assign new seats and assign new seats. I would want to take my two kiddos that are in the other section and move them to the side. Next, we're going to hit Make Default and we're going to click OK. If we do create multiple seating charts for this section, this particular seating chart will be the default seating chart for that section. Always click Save when making any changes. If you want to create a seating chart for another section and you want it to have the same layout, you can click Copy Layout, select the other section, choose your Place Student option, again we'll choose Random, and click Create Chart, and then it will place students in all of those seats in the same layout as you had before. That way, if your classroom layout is the same for all classes and you don't want to design it each time, you can use the Copy Layout option to do that. And then you can still rearrange kiddos as necessary. Once you have one or more seating charts created and you go into the seating charts module, you will see an option to open seating chart. That option will only show you sections that have a seating chart created. In this case, we can select one of these seating charts and click open to open or modify the seating chart. What we're gonna do this time is create a new seating chart and look at it from a different approach. We'll begin by clicking new. Next, we will select the section that we are creating the seating chart in. In this case, we will just select eighth grade math section 11. Under seating chart name, we will give it a different name. Eighth grade math, we'll just call it option two. Here's a way to think outside the box when you wanna create your own seating chart with your own layout and not have to delete desks. We will change the column to one. We will change the row to one. It tells you there are more students than desks, and then it says one by one. We don't care about the horizontal or vertical space because we are going to manually place these desks. Under Place Students, we will choose Do Not Place, and then we will select Create Chart. When we select Create Chart, we will go ahead and delete the only one that's in there. In this case, we can go ahead and arrange it as needed. So we will go ahead and create our own layout. Expand the workspace as needed. In this layout, we've got a box of four and then two across the other aisle. We'll add some space and we'll drag some additional students down. Maybe even as we get to the back of the classroom, things are laid out a little bit differently. So we will now drag some students down there and add our seats. We will click save when we're done. Now you would want to add all students to the classroom, but we just wanted to demonstrate how you could not place students and not have any desks and move them around as needed. Always remember, you can do contract workspace to be able to remove extra space. I'll click save. One other option is that you can print the seating charts. So if we click print options, you can print last name, first name, nickname, and picture. When you do print your seating charts, you have the option to do it in portrait or landscape, depending on if most of your seats are more narrow going up and down, or if it stretches further across and you have longer rows. And then you can select print and that will send it to a PDF. If using CD charts in Infinite Campus and you want to display student pictures, you have to activate that option underneath your instruction settings. We'll click on the head and shoulders in the top right and move to instruction settings. There are two options that are helpful for seating charts. First of all, student picture must be selected in order to see student pictures on several tools in Infinite Campus, including seating charts. If you would like to use your seating chart for taking attendance, use seating chart for attendance must be selected. Both of these items were already selected, so we will go ahead and click save. Next, we will navigate to instruction and select the attendance tool. If you have use seating chart for attendance selected 
and you click on a section that either does not have a seating chart or it does not have all of the students in that particular period in the seating chart, you will receive this message that indicates there is not a valid seating chart for taking attendance. You can still click on attendance list to take attendance regularly. However, we'll move to period three, which has a seating chart. When you have a period that has all of the students in that period placed in the seating chart, you can then utilize that seating chart to take attendance as shown here. And you also have the option to switch between the regular attendance list and the seating chart. Please note that seating charts cannot be utilized from the attendance option in the teaching center. So in the teaching center, where you would normally click on the head and shoulders to take attendance, there is no option to switch to seating chart. So if utilizing seating charts for attendance, you have to do so by going to the attendance module under instruction. In this video, we learned how to create seating charts from scratch, copy layouts of seating charts to additional sections, and take attendance using a seating chart.